They haven't won a game in the Premier League this season, but Newcastle United now have the victory they've craved. I've always questioned whether I would see them win anything in the late time, but now I've got belief. It just means the world. Football is this city, simple as a hen. Oh, unbelievable, best day of my life. Better than, better than me Ben being bored, to be fair. <laughs> Wonderful. It's All not the money we ambition. care about, it's the ambition. We want something to look forward to, you know what I mean? We want a team that tries. They had that in the 90s when the goals flowed, the team sparkled, and they all loved it. But then came Mike Ashley, who managed to suck the joy away from this club. Finally, they can say that the Mike Ashley era at Newcastle is over. That's why they're here, but also to try and take in what comes next. Huge investment dominated by money from Saudi Arabia. It puts them on a footing with the richest clubs on the planet. I wasn't even alive when we were challenged for the Champions League. Uh, when we were last in the Europa League, I was only six. And uh, I just want some of them times to myself. And uh, I just want the club to be something I can support, I believe in. The Premier League say they are satisfied it will be the Saudi-backed consortium controlling the club, not the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And that their owners and directors' tests on transparency and a clean financial plan have been met. Thank you for all the wonderful support. Thank you Thanks very for your much. commitment, Amanda. Oh, no, well, it was all about you guys now. It's no, all about you. you. No, it's the Premier League football is the best in the world. Uh, and Newcastle United is the best team in the world, and we want to see it get those trophies, obviously, uh, at top of the Premier League in Europe. But to get trophies, it means investment, patience, time, uh, and we want everybody just to um, you know, work with us to build the club to what it needs to be. Promises have been made about who will be involved, but the Saudi Arabian Investment Fund is overseen by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, the man the United States accused of approving the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi. It is a real shame for the new Newcastle and for the uh, <clears throat> British uh, English football day that they have now uh, the football club <laughs> uh, owned by a person who responsible the murder of Jamal. On Tyneside, they do care where the money comes from and who owns their club. But they needed change, and the Saudi-backed consortium were the only ones offering to deliver it.